Okay, let's take a look at the first main solo. Um, before the guitar solo, there is another solo which sounds very much like um, a melodica. It's called, it's a, I think it's called a melodica. It's one of those blowy thing. You blow into it and it's got a keyboard down the side. It sounds very much like that, but don't quote me on it. But it's, there's another solo before the guitar solo, which is one of those blowy things. I think they're called a melodica. But the solo, um, it's a great solo. Uh, I'm going to try and play it without the, without the backing track. I'm trying to try and play it all the way through, and then we'll break it down into tiny chunks, and I'll show you the various licks and what he's doing. Here we go. Wish me luck. Okay, um, as I said earlier in, the, in this track, I'm using uh, just the, the bridge pickup on this Strat. I don't know if, if, uh, if he played it on a telly, but it just sounds quite, uh, sounds like that bridge pickup on a Strat or a telly. It doesn't, it's not his usual out of phase Strat sound. So that's what I've gone for. Um, okay, let's take a look at this, uh, this first opening lick. It's a unison bend. Um, bending the B string from the 15 up to the 17 while holding the, the E string on the 12. So you get... Easy as that. Hold that dead still with your... You need to support your, uh, this bend with two fingers. I'm using my second and third finger. Uh, comes out of that and it does this. So this is an E string uh, bend, 14th fret up to the, up to the, sounds like it's the 16th fret. Coming back down and on and off from the 12. Coming down to the 12 on the B. And doing the 15 bend up to the, the 17. So we get. So from the top, three, four. This, uh, this next lick is a tricky little ditty. Um, you've got to bend up and change the pitch of the note within the bend. Uh, here's the phrase. So this is bending the E string up to the 17th fret. And whilst you've got the bend, you've got to change it to the 16th fret. So you do that twice, you're coming, going 17, 16, 17, 16, twice. Then you go 14, 12 on the E, and a big bend on the B string, 15 to 17. So in context, one more time, it's a great lick, great to steal. Next phrase does this. So this is the, the B string flicking on and off from the 12 to the 14. We're flicking on and off and we're coming down to the 14 on the G. So let's put all those uh, licks from the top uh, and so you can see it in context so far. Slightly slower, here we go. Three, four. Okay, here's our next phrase, does this. So this is a nice cool little lick. Um, sliding up on the D string and landing on the 14th fret. And then we've got a hammer on from the, on the G string from the 11 to the 14. And we're landing on that 12th fret on the B. One more time. Then we've got a bend on the 14 up to the 16, back down again.
Very cool. Here's the next phrase, does this. So this is a flick on and off, 12 to 14 on the B, and then landing on the G on the 13, and coming back up 12, 14 on the B. So you get... And we're going up to the E string, 12, uh, 14. So we're bending that 14 up to the 16. Sorry, the whole lick. And hold that bend at the top. So uh, let's put it in context. Let's add it to our, from the top, add it to the rest of the licks. Three, four. Here's our next phrase. So this is just the tail end of our last little lick with that bend from the, uh, the 14 to the 16. And we bring this down, coming down uh, to the 12. So we're pulling off, uh, pulling off from the 14 to the 12, back up to the 14, down to the 12. And then we're going 11, 12. And then down to the 14 on the B. And doing that little flick, 12, 14, landing on the 14 on the G. So we get. Next phrase does this. So that was right up to the end of the solo. It starts that uh, first phrase with a, a B string bend from the 12 to the 14 and a flick on and off from the 9 to the 12. So you get... Going down to the G string, which is bending uh, the G string from the 11 up to the 13, catching the 12 on the B. And a little flick at the end uh, from the 9 to the, to the 11. So put those, that whole phrase together, we get. So the last little phrase of the solo does this. So this starts with a slide up on the G, landing on the, the eighth fret, going up seven, um, nine on the B. Then we got a flick on and off from the seven and the nine. Coming down to the 9 on the G. So put that together, you get. And we're going back up. Uh, 7, 9, semitone bend to the 10. Back down to the 9, 7. Then we got the, the root note, landing on the root note on the G, uh, the G9. So very, very slowly, it's a lot easier to just see it in context. 3, 4. So that's the solo. Um, I'm going to play it through one more time, but I'm going to play it much slower so you can see all those licks in context. Here we go. Three, four. <laughs> There's the solo. It's a bit harder to play slower than it is fast.